Uh, my name is John Driscoll, and right now we're at Caramore Center for Music and the Arts. And the reason I'm here and the group that's with me is that we're doing a version of David Tudor's Rainforest 4, which is a sound environment that David conceived back in, the first one was actually conceived back in 1966. Uh, two of the people that are here today, myself and Phil Edelstein, we started to collaborate with David on this work in 1973. At this point, the work has been performed, I think a total of about 150 plus times in 42 different uh, locations. So it may well be one of the most performed pieces of contemporary music. <laughs> What the piece is really about is uh, early on David wanted the idea that you would make unique loudspeakers that had their own voices. In other words, today we have this notion of speakers reproduce exactly what we give them. What he wanted was just the opposite. The, the analogy I use is that it's sort of like uh, tickling somebody. What we do is we take sound and we literally vibrate sound into the object, into the material. And when you hit the right spot, the object just transforms it and sings in very unique ways. So the basis of the piece is really about each of us, each, each composer makes their own sound material and makes their own objects. And so we provide the source that really tickles those objects to make them vibrate with their own character.